And we return to book 15 of Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey, where the prince set sail for home. Now, if you have yet to catch up to this point in the story, or have just stumbled across this video, then down in the description below is a link to a playlist where you can listen to the entire epic poem as it is being recorded. And if you would like a copy of The Odyssey with the Iliad attached, there is also an affiliate link where you can purchase a copy to follow along. Or if you want the more poetic version, you can also find that link to the Fagel's translation below as well. But without further ado, and no more stalling for time, we begin with the Homeretic epic that is the Odyssey, where Athena summons Telemachus from Sparta. He meets with Theoclemes at Pelos and brings him to Ithaca, and on landing he goes to hunt uh, to the hut of Eumaeus. Now, book 15 is really, really short. Um, so, inside of the book, the narrative shifts back all the way over to Odysseus' son, Telemachus, where he is greeted by Athena, who warns him of the suitor's plot to murder him, and he tells him that it is now time to return home to Ithaca. She advises him how he and Pistratus can avoid their ambush at sea. Now, it is here in this short but very, very important book that all major players are moving to Ithaca, building up to the story's climax. And Pistratus and Telemachus notice as they set out for the return home an omen of an eagle carrying a goose. This is important as it's foreshadowing that the noble and the strong will soon crush the weak. And with that, like I said, this is an incredibly short but important book. It come, book 15 comes to a close. Now, if you're enjoying these summaries and explanations, don't hesitate to subscribe and like. But if I can improve anywhere, then please let me know in the comments below. And with that, I look forward to seeing you guys all next time. Take care, everyone.